Hey everyone, uh, we have this awesome, amazing thing that happened. In fact, I gotta, I gotta scroll up a bit on the page so I, I can tell you exactly what it's about because there was a massive dump of Ocarina of Time assets from 1997. And this includes some things like extra spells that did not make it in the game. But not only do we know that these spells exist, we know what these spells do. Now, some of this stuff was already technically known about. We just never had assets or descriptions for it. But this comes from an F-Zero uh, X development cartridge uh, from Space World 97 that got out to the public. So that, that's what we're kind of referencing here. That's our reference point. Um, there's a lot of crazy stuff in here. Obviously, we could talk about some F-Zero stuff and, and whatever, but what's really cool about this cartridge is the beta N64 assets and information for Ocarina of Time. Again, culminating, in my opinion, with spells that were never used, including a spell, by the way, that turned you into Navi herself. Oh, yes, baby. That is a thing that was going to be in Ocarina of Time. But before we get into that, I got to remind you, we are giving away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. To enter, head down to the description or the pinned comment. Winner will be... Uh not selected, but winner will be announced uh, during a live stream at the end of the month, uh, which is coming up here. We're on the 19th here, so we got, you know, a couple weeks ago. All right, here we go. Let's get into this. I originally saw this over on Reset Era. As you see here, uh, here's an F0X development cartridge, which contains Space World 97, Zelda 64 data in the overdump. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here you'll see, um, you know, from, from items, um, including some additional items. Uh, that weren't in the game originally, all that jazz, uh, some map data. Some of this stuff is exactly as it was in the final game. Some of it is not. Uh, there's some really cool stuff you can glean from here. And because I'm not pouring over the original map data from the final game, I, it's hard for me to know which of this stuff uh, was final and which of this is just stuff that never made it into the game or what changed. Uh, but over here on Mr. Cheese, he loaded this stuff up. Um, and we get some interesting stuff. So first up, a full set of six magic spells and magic arrows, silver bracelet, note-shaped ocarina stones, and others and fun changes. So stuff in here that's different. Uh, you know, we didn't have the shell as an item. I, I specifically remember we did not have a shell as an item. Uh, we didn't have six magic spells. So you see the fire, uh, the, the fire, ice, and wind, but, but we didn't have these. Those are new magic spells we did not have in the final game. Uh, some of these arrow things we did not have in the final game as well. Uh, so very interesting stuff uh, looking at some of the early ideas um, and then we have these are some more blue spears below this look like music notation s marks I'm guessing sacred stone songs again these are all things that we did not have in the final game all right um, so this one looks like we're linked using a whistle or something I have no idea to me it looks like he's just to me it looks like he's just holding his nose <laughs> it's kind of blurry but um, maybe that was an item in the game I have no idea uh, whatever this item was here uh, maybe that's what he's using. Beats me. Um, some item place names that you can't that they can't read. Uh, but here's here's where things get interesting. Uh, the names and effects of the items explained. So got a bomb. C got a mine set with C and explode when touched. Even if you throw it, with B, it will explode. So there was mines in the game. Um, I found a true insect glasses set to C to C with C. Can you see mysterious things? So there was in, uh, insect glasses apparently in the game. Um, I found the Ocarina of Time. Obviously, got a horse grass whistle. Um, so that was that was a thing. Uh, we later saw used in Twilight Princess a lot. Uh, and then oh, you know I found a knife attack with A. Got the master sword. Got the giant knife. Okay. Um, got a bomb bag. Uh, I found a silver bracelet. Lift even heavy objects. Uh, got a gold bracelet. Uh, you can uh, have. Uh, you can have anything you can. You can grab it with B and have anything. I have no idea what that means, but that was a thing. Got an adult wallet. Adults have a lot of money. Obviously, a giant's wallet, etc. But this is the cool stuff. So here we have all of the uh, medallions uh, that were magic and the spells. So obviously we have the Medal of Fire, you know, I'll burn uh, Mela Mela, the magic of fire. So we, we know the fire spell that's in the game. We know the ice spell that's in the game. The fire goes out with a click. Uh, we know the wind spell. Again, it's in the game. Warp when in danger. But then we got the soul medal. If you use it with C, you can become Navi. Become Navi and fly around. That's right. You used to be able to fly around in Ocarina of Time as Navi. Is that not insane? 
Uh, I got a medal of light set at the sea and illuminate everything. The magic of light captures the darkness. Obviously, a medal of light makes sense. You use it, it lights up the whole room. Uh, that, that seems to be a, 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 an obvious use for that. I got the medal of darkness. Uh, use it with C. It's straight, it's dark, and the enemy doesn't even notice. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing that means the enemy can't notice you. So if you make the room dark with this spell, they can't see you, but you can see them. I'm assuming that's what it's inferring here. Uh, it's hard to know exactly since I can't speak Japanese. Um, I, I think this is really cool. Um, this is some other cool stuff from the dump stuff we've already seen. Um, you know, here, here's a bunch of uh, uh, fonts, I guess. Uh, font work fonts are now under a free open license. So some people uh, got fonts out of it and put it out there. Uh, you may look like a child, but you can see why I cannot be assured of your youth. Be a good boy. And be gone. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> um, and, like, yeah, here, here's kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the cartridge here they're talking about where they got all this stuff from. So this isn't like Nintendo was hacked or anything. This is just one of the development cartridges, uh, as you see here, uh, for F-Zero, was uh, brought, put out in the public. Um, someone got their hands on it publicly, uh, which happens. Um, you can see other development cartridges here that they're kind of showing off, um, you know, for other systems and stuff like that. So to kind of, to kind of show you that this is pretty standard for how these development cartridges go. And then, you know, it's not usual or typical that these dev cartridges, um, for things like space world and stuff get out in the public, but every now and then, uh, that's exactly what happens. So that's what happened this time around. Someone got their hands on it. Now we have all these dumps. Nothing illegal about it. Just really, really cool. Uh, and I am perfectly comfortable covering it since it's just something that exists out there. Now, this obviously begs to wonder what could have Ocarina of Time been uh, with these additional spells, uh, with, with the changes to the maps and all that. It's hard to know. We know that Ocarina of Time had a very interesting development cycle. Uh, at one point, Link looked like this. I mean, that's a very, very different looking Link. So there was, by the way, that link is more like a link to the past inspired for those wondering. Uh, but I, I honestly think that there has just been so many um, interesting factoids around the development of Ocarina of Time. It's one of the, I don't want to say controversial, but one of the more interesting games developed by Nintendo because of the amount of changes, because of the existence of Ura Zelda. For those who don't know, like Ocarina of Time was going to be expanded and turned into this really big thing using... Um, I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm sure people are going to correct me on this, but there was basically, uh, there's going to be a disc system add on, uh, and all this jazz that was going to make the N64 a little bit more powerful and, uh, not just the memory pack that was required from Majora's Mask. Uh, and, or it was that more Ram, whatever that little red thing you put in the top. I think it was just additional Ram. Uh, I had that by the way, <laughs> of course I had that back in the day. What, what N64 owner didn't have the memory expansion pack. Uh, but what I find interesting is that there was going to be basically this all this all the, this entirely like expanded bigger game uh, that then they could fit on a cartridge at that time, and it was going to be um, really really cool and really interesting. And we've seen attempts at putting all the assets of it available together. We've seen people release it. You know that's why Ura Zelda is something I've mentioned before. Uh, some of it kind of came to fruition when they did the little special collector's disc item with the Master Quest version. Some of it appeared in there uh, officially from Nintendo with copies of the Wind Waker early on. So there's been like we've known about the existence of all this, of all these assets for a long time, but this is like additional information we never really knew uh, before. Like we knew there was more magic spells, but we didn't know the purpose of them. Now we do because the purpose of them wasn't available in the files we had before. So I, I honestly, I'm really excited about this stuff. I find this stuff to be extremely interesting, and obviously this stuff coming out just makes me want Ocarina of Time in HD even more. Now someone put it out there. I want to actually throw this out there because I've talked about how I want the original. Ocarina of Time in HD, uh, not the 3DS uh, remake, not because there's anything wrong with the 3DS remake, but I mean, they didn't do the you know DS version of Mario 64. They gave us Mario 64 from the GameCube, so you know, or from the GameCube, from the N64. Take away my gamer card there from the N64. So like, launch game. Hello, Nate. Come on, don't get this. Like, go, don't get Mario 64 wrong. You literally got a copy of the game right there. Um, but the thing is, uh, you. They only hd that, so you could say, to be fair, they should only HD the uh, N64 version. Then again, we have the 3DS version, and here's what that looks like in HD. Uh, yeah, a fan, a fan decided to take the 3DS version and put it in HD. And uh, there's going to be need to be some tweaks and some fixes, especially for the camera. 
uh, which they might not do because they didn't really do it for Mario 64. If we get a collection pack, you know, that, that Zelda 3D All-Stars I talked about, but uh, this looks good. This looks really good. I'm okay if this is what they HD. Then again, if they do this, then we need Majora's Mask. And I have a feeling Majora's Mask will be left out. And it's going to be kind of like Galaxy 2 where we're going to have like all this hope and hype. And like, yes, Majora's Mask might come, but it's not really going to come. Um, I don't know. I also would love to see it fully remastered because it's basically Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Skyward Sword that haven't had the HD treatment done yet. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, ugh, it's Zelda. Again, two Zelda videos this week, two days in a row. I'm getting giddy, man. Can't tell. I'm getting excited. I'm getting so excited, dude. I love Zelda, man. I hope I hope we legitimately get some cool Zelda stuff this year, even if they don't celebrate the 35th anniversary or if they do it in a way that uh, is not like Mario. You know, they, they do a concert series, which, I, again, with the pandemic still going on, probably won't happen. Maybe they do a digital concert series. I suppose that could be a thing they do. I don't know. I, I just think this is a really entertaining thing, and uh, I'm glad that it's out there in the public. Uh, about a game that, hey, honestly, Ocarina of Time isn't even in my top 10 Zelda games. Blasphemy, I know, but it's been that way for a long time. So, um, And the more Zelda games that come out that I like more than it, the further and further down the line it gets pushed. doesn't mean I think it's a bad game. This was my childhood, man. It took me two years to beat it. I love the hell out of it. Rented it from Blockbuster, never returned it. I was one of those kids. Happens. Cost my parents probably a crap load of fees that are worth way more than the game itself. But anyways, I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from the Tower Prime. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.